We use the term in the military called reach back capability. This is a concept that came about as technology was developed and it found its way to the battlefield or a project site. One of the first examples I saw was in the Balkans in 1994, where a soldier on the ground was able to reach back to a center of expertise to assist in an assessment or a design capability. Airstrikes and demolitions had taken out a span bridge that crossed the Sava River. And that span bridge could not be replaced in a timely manner. A float bridge would need to be put in place to deliver soldiers and materials to the other side. Engineers initially tried to use standard written engineering doctrine or just template designs. But what the template didn't take into account was how unique the Sava River is. The river was experiencing a 100 year flood event scenario that was outside the capabilities of standard planning. The reach back capability was an idea of an Army Corps of Engineer officer who knew the capabilities that existed at a center in Vicksburg, Mississippi, that's called the Engineer Research Development Center, or ERDIC. Subject matter experts for the Corps of Engineers are located there and have been working on flood control for decades regarding the Mississippi and Ohio rivers. So a communication platform was initiated that gave real-time status and information to bridging engineers and hydrologists at ERDIC. The Corps of Engineers was successful in putting a float bridge across the Sava River, a bridge being built across boats, which tanks and vehicles later ended up using, followed by the designing and construction of the permanent bridge. That's a good example of what we call reachback. 